here is a way to attach your yarn to your googly puppet eyes. You start with a slip knot on your crochet hook and then just insert your crochet hook underneath your little puppet eyes with your eyes facing you. And then you're gonna join with a slip knot or slip stitch, I'm sorry, to that little bar underneath your little googly eye there. And then I like to chain two, one, two. That does not count as a stitch when I'm working it. And then I usually like to do a total of 15 double crochets around this entire bar. So yarn over, insert your hook underneath that bar, yarn over, bring that up. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through the last two. So that's one double crochet. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven. And of course you can do however many double crochets you want, 10, whatever your pattern says, 11, or if you're doing a different type of stitch, 12, 13, 14 and 15. I just find that the double crochet gives it a fuller face. So after I do that, it looks like this. I just push those double crochets behind and up to the back. And then I just skip that chain two that we did. And then all I do is join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet that I did. So I insert my hook into that first double crochet yarn over and join with a slip stitch and that is it and that is how I join my yarn to the googly puppet eyes one way and then um, there are some other ways and I will show you those other ways as well another way to join your yarn to your googly puppet puppet eyes is by starting with a slip knot and then chaining five one two, three, four, and five, and then join with a slip stitch to your first chain to create a ring, and then chain two, one, two. That chain two is not going to count as a stitch. This is the center of your ring, and now what you're gonna do is work four double crochets in that center. So yarn over, insert your hook into the center, and work your four double crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Of course, you can also do whatever stitch you prefer. I just like the double crochets. It makes the face um, a little fuller. So now I'm going to take my googly eyes after I do my four and I'm going to put them in front of those double crochets. And then now I'm going to work, I like to do a total of 15 double crochets. So I'm going to work 11 double crochets around the bottom of my googly eye ring and the ring of my crocheted piece. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook underneath that bottom of the googly eye puppet ring and into the center of my crochet ring and I'm going to work my double crochet. So I'm going through that crochet piece and underneath and up through that puppet ring and working my double crochet and that attaches 
to the, the puppet ring and it also is attaching in the center of that ring of the crocheted piece. So that's one and I want to do a total of 11. So that's, this will be number two. We're going through both pieces. This is three. I'm going through both pieces. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and of course you can do whichever stitch you like or whatever your pattern says. This is 10 and then this is 11. And once I do my stitches there, all I do is push all of my stitches up and back and then I skip over that chain two that I did in the beginning and I join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet that I created like that and that is another way to join your yarn to your your googly puppet eyes hope that helps thanks for watching this is how I like to put my little googly eye puppet googly eyes on when I am just working in the round and I want it to go in there straight. I just kind of put them right here and this it just depends if you're putting them in the back or the front. I like to put them in the front and what I like to do is just work like two rows over the googly eyes here this helps keep them straight sometimes I try to do three <clears throat> so what I like to do is let me try to zoom in and see if you guys can see this better is I insert my hook into the next stitch and then I also insert it into the bottom of the googly eye and then I yarn over and work my stitch, which is a single crochet, and I'm working it over the googly eye and the stitch at the same time. And then I'm going into the next stitch on the crocheted piece, and I'm also going to be working around that googly eye, but I'm moving my working yarn in between the two googly eyes, grabbing that yarn bringing it through and up. I'm still working between those googly eyes and completing my stitch like this. And then I'm gonna do it again, inserting my hook into the next stitch around the googly eye, still working in between those googly eyes, pulling that stitch back front and still working that working yarn between the googly eyes. And now I'm going to work my next stitch. And this is where I'm going to put that working yarn in between the googly eyes, grab that yarn, and then I'm going to pull it to the left of the googly eye, not in the center, and then work my single crochet. And that's attaching it all to the little googly eye there, which is what I want. And you want to make sure that your stitches are in the front here because you're going to be working in those again when you come back around. So then you're going to continue to work around your single crochets or whatever stitches that you're working. And you just kind of eyeball it. I like to try and do four stitches usually with my googly puppet eyes. So now I'm coming back around to the googly eye and here I am again 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and attach it right here. So I'm going to insert my hook here. And then I'm going to put the googly eye. I'm going to insert my hook there. And then I'm going to put my hook around this googly eye in front there. Grab the working yarn and pull it and bring it into the center there of the googly eye and bring it up. And now I have the working yarn in between the two googly eyes. I'm gonna work my single crochet. And then I'm gonna go into the next one. Doing the same thing. And this one might be a little tighter to get into just because of how we attached it, but that's okay. So I have my single, my hook is in that next stitch and I'm gonna work around that googly eye. So I have the working yarn around on the right side. My hook is in there, but I'm gonna pull that working yarn in between the two googly eyes and through the stitch like so. And then my working yarn is still between those two googly eyes. So now I'm gonna complete my stitch. And then I'm gonna do that again in the next one. So inserting my hook into the next stitch. And then I'm gonna grab that working yarn, but this time I want to put it in front of the googly eye. And then I'm gonna pull it from behind and bring it up. And this way it's attaching to that googly eye and then complete my stitch. And then I'm going to do it one more time. And this time I'm going to put that working yarn in between the two. Grab that working yarn and bring it through that stitch and complete that stitch. Just like that. And then continue to work around doing my stitches. And usually I put them on right when I'm just about done. And then if I was done, I would just go ahead and join wherever, however you're working your pattern with a slip stitch. And then that's how I join my little googly eyes. And then they kind of, they, for me, they stay nice and straight. They're nice and secure in there because I worked them over two rows. If you were gonna continue to work up and you just wanted these down here and you wanted some more, more rows behind, you would make sure to work these rows behind your googly eyes. So you would want the stitches to be behind them so you could work behind those and continue to grow your, your little design. Hope this helps you. Thanks for watching. This is how I attach my googly puppet eyes if I am going to be working beyond the attached googly eyes. So if this is not the end of my project and I wanna continue to go, this is how I would attach them. So I have my googly eyes, my puppet googly eyes. I'm gonna work my next stitch so I'm going to insert my stitch my hook into the next stitch I'm going to take my googly eye and I'm going to also insert my hook into the bottom of that googly eye with the googly eye facing me because I have my googly eyes in front and then I'm gonna yarn over and bring that yarn through and up and then I'm just gonna push that googly eye forward and then I'm going to work my single crochet. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch. And I'm going to keep that yarn, my googly eye, over. Inserting my hook. And I'm also going to work around this here, bottom of the googly eye, and work my stitch. I'm going into the next one. And I'm also working over that googly eye 
and then I'm going to go into the next one and work my stitch, which is a single crochet. So I just worked four stitches over that, that googly eye. And now I want to work a stitch just regularly. And then I push my little googly eye up. And there he is. And now I have stitches in the back there I can work with. So we're going to work our single crochet or whatever stitch you're working around until we get back to that googly eye. And now I'm back at this googly eye. I'm going to make my next stitch. So I insert my hook. And now I want to work that googly eye. So here's my next stitch. I'm going to insert my hook there. And then I'm also going to go ahead and insert my hook around that googly eye and work my single crochet by pulling it through. It's a little awkward, but I'm sure there's probably other ways to do it. This is just how I do it. There we go. And now I'm going to complete that single crochet. So that's one so far. And then we want to do that again with our next one. So now I want to attach it to the blue still. So I'm going to still work right here. I'm going to insert my hook underneath that googly eye. Insert my hook into the next stitch on the body. Yarn over, bring that yarn through that stitch and through that googly eye like that and then work my single crochet or whatever stitch you're doing. And now we're going to do that again into the next stitch. So there's our next one. So we want to work, we're going to insert our hook into the next one. And then we're also going to insert it underneath, after we insert it into the next one, we're going to insert it underneath the next bar on the puppet eye and work our single crochet. So yarn over, bring it back under the bar and through the stitch on the body. It's a little awkward at first, just because of how we're attaching it. There we go. And then complete your stitch, which is a single crochet for me. And then we're going to do it one more time. So here we're going to insert our hook under the body and then into the next stitch. I'm sorry, under the puppet eye and then into the body on the next, the next stitch on the body. Yarn over and bring them both through and then yarn over and complete your single crochet or whatever stitch you're doing and then single crochet into the next stitch and then go ahead and work your single crochets around or whatever stitches you're doing and then when you get to your googly puppet eyes you don't need to attach them unless you feel the need to. If they're super loose or anything like that, you want to try and keep it as tight as you can. But when you get over here, you're just going to want to work your single crochets into those stitches that we did when we attached the googly eyes. So if you have to push those googly eyes down to work into the 
stitches behind them, you can. And it may be awkward to try and get into them, but it's just for that first round. There we go. There's my next one. And if for some reason your stitch count is off, you can just always add an extra stitch right behind those eyes if you need to. And then you would just continue to work whatever pattern you're designing. And this is how you can attach your googly eyes in the middle of a piece like that. They do look down a little bit, but you can also try and attach them again with another row. Hope this helps someone. Thanks for watching.